Hey guys, um, tonight I'm doing something different. I'm not doing a food challenge. I'm not doing an adventure, even though it's probably going to be adventurous, but I am going to do this thing with my hair. Now, I had looked like a, a while back. Um, I just happened to come through some archives on my YouTube of scary looking me doing my hair. Um, I swear to God, it's not me, but maybe I had glasses on, makeup. I had just gotten home. I don't know. But anyways, I had somehow or another ended up putting this on here. But anyways, I had come across that, and I was like, hmm, that was then. Knew how it come out. You guys had seen pictures and stuff later on with it and stuff. And I was like, hmm, I was sure from, from the color that I had had that had faded out so quickly, um, which you see now, those pictures where my hair was more of a violet color, which I absolutely loved. So anyways. Long story short, so I'm going to do that with you today. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit longer because I do want to show a lot of what I'm doing, and this is going to be more like a fun one today. So, um, so if you guys want to follow along, that'd be cool. Um, I, this is going to be a little unorthodox because we all have our own home ways of doing stuff. Um, so, anyways. My friend had come home earlier. She's going to go get her hair done. She's like, what? She says, uh, I got you something. I said, what do you mean you got me something? She says, well, I got something for you. And she hands me this box. I said, well, what is that? And um, so anyways, I said, oh, okay. And um, so the color is, it says light red velvet. Now, I have no clue if this is anything close to, to what I had before. Like right now, my hair is more of a... A darker red it went from like a like a deep red to a lighter red now so I really have no clue how this is gonna turn out and then at first I was like oh how am I gonna do this because um, I didn't I didn't think I had a developer and it says you need like a 60 the 60 or whatever 60 and it says something about so I have 30 this is all I had and I said do I dare to use this one because it's lighter instead of getting the 60 which is going to make it darker or do I go with this light so I'm like well how am I going to do this because it's storming and I really don't want to go I don't want to go outside to right now okay so I just want to do this so anyways okay so that doesn't matter so we're going to go and we're going to try doing this so I also to keep my hair amped which is what I normally do but I haven't been doing it for the last week I definitely have to keep up on it and I have been using the ions. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but this is what I normally use to keep my hair up and going. Um, so I actually, and I know this seems unorthodox to some people, but this is what I'm doing. So I put a little bit of that in my cup. Okay, so that way if this does lighten it up some, there's still a little bit of that color in it. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go and I'm going to try this. Um, I'm going to try to film as much of it as I can and put it all together um, and go from there. So um, I'm probably going to break this all up, um, um, but I'll let you guys, I want to follow along and show you what I do and everything. I'm just going to have to break uh, my footage up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, mix this stuff. Now I have probably, I want to say half a bottle of this, so it should definitely be uh, plenty. So I'm just going to pour it in here and I'm just going to cross my fingers and pray that this comes out the right way. And I am no, no specialist on this one. I've just been dyeing my hair for a long time from home. So I'm going to go with this one and try it. So now I'm just going to take um, the developer that she got for me um, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. I'm hoping I don't run out of footage time for this either. I don't have the greatest filming on here. You gotta bear with me. So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put all this in my bucket. I sound like a, a hillbilly. I'm in hillbilly land, so I'm gonna put it in my bucket and we're gonna stir it up like this. We gotta get it all in there, Willis. We gotta, we gotta turn it up. Just turn it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Squeeze, Ethel. Squeeze. Squeeze, Ethel. All right. So anyways, okay. So I know this sounds funny, and a lot of people talk about painting their hair on, right? 
So obviously I didn't get to go get a professional paintbrush. So since we have to paint our hair, I'm gonna paint my hair. See? I'm gonna use this paintbrush and I'm gonna paint my hair. And hopefully I do it right. So I'm gonna paint my hair. So, <laughs> so we are gonna paint our hair. I do have gloves. Don't think I'm not going to put gloves on because I sure like to put gloves on because I don't want a mask. But I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up. Hopefully we can get it mixed really well. And I'm, I'm still praying that this comes out right. I have no clue how this is going to turn out. It almost looks pink right now. but So yeah, so I'm going to get this nice and in there. It's definitely looking like a pink color. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. My lighting is kind of off the chain, but especially since we're doing it in the setting that we're doing it in like normal living. So, but anyways, so yeah, it's it's looking pink. I wish you guys can see it closer, and I really don't know how this is gonna come out. And I'm hoping that all this edit really turns out because it's one shot, so one shot deal. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Try to get all this stirred up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start painting my hair. I am going to section my hair. Um, I just have to get all my stuff together here um, and get my gloves on. So if you guys give me a minute, um, I'm going to break through this and pull my hair up and start sectioning it. Uh, but I'm going to save some footage time, so hang on just a second. I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so I'm just I'm just taking it, and I'm just separating the back of it. And I'm just going to take it, I'm going to put it up in a bun. I'm going to slide my, my gloves on so I don't come out with pink, pink hands. Now, I'm sitting on a towel, so I guys know I'm kind of got this. All right, so now we are going to paint our hair. And I hope that this is completely developed like it's supposed to be. And I have no clue how this is going to turn out. So here we go. It really looks pink. I don't know if it's gonna go from. I don't know if it's gonna go from this color that I have it. So a pink. I really don't know what it's gonna do. But I know I'm really trying to get these roots. So it's definitely gonna take me. It's definitely gonna take me some time because obviously I have blonde hair. So it's definitely gonna take some time to get it root by root. And doing this by myself is not easy. This is those times that you wish you had an extra hand that knew what they were doing to help you. And we're painting. We're painting the hair. Uh oh. And I'm painting my sandals. My $50 sandals down here are getting painted on. I'm painting my hair, painting my hair. Guys, it, it looks so pink, like literally, it looks pastel pink. Now my hair is not blonde, and this looks pastel, and I have no clue what she gave me. Like, it's almost like when my hair, back when you 
when I had my hair the multiple colors, when I had professionally went and had it done, which by the way was not cheap, I spent like a hundred and something dollars to have that done because I had to bleach my hair and do all that good stuff and then put my purples and my blues and my pink and all that good stuff. Yeah, did it look good? Oh, oh yeah. How long did it last? Well, it started fading after like two weeks. Two weeks. It was a hundred and something dollars. Two weeks is all it lasted. So, I didn't go back to get it done. I let it grow out. Went back to a natural color, a neutral color, and waited to get to this point with my hair again. And I got rid of the blonde, and I was like, uh, yeah, no. So, alright, so I'm going to keep painting my hair. I'm going to keep doing sections, and um, I'm going to break this up like I told you guys, because it will take some time, because I definitely have to get lots of roots. So, um, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. So, I'm still sectioning this. I mean, you can see... I, well, you can see where it's rolling out, and you can definitely see it underneath. And it's so hard to see it, considering how I'm doing this. And honestly, I'm more worried about going from the roots first and up, because obviously I want my roots covered. That would be the whole purpose. And this is definitely, this is definitely a not typical way that I would do it, but I'm going with it. What what could I do? I'll just get more hair color and fix it if it comes out wrong. So I'm not really too worried about it. I've done worse things to my hair. Um, so if, if I screw it up, I screw it up. So yeah, so I'm painting my hair. Painting, painting, painting. I cannot believe I'm doing this. Oh my god. I have no, no clue how this is going to turn out. No clue. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see how pink it is? It says it's supposed to be a violet red, like a violet or something. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. I don't, I'm just gonna keep going with it. So we're seeing what color it is and we're just gonna see what whatever color it brings it out to. We'll see. All you do is cross my fingers and hope that it comes out. I look like somebody off a of DC comic. Like I love DC comic, and right now I'm looking like one of the girls. Like, yeah, that's what I'm looking like right now. <laughs> like y'all just fooled me out of DC comic. Like really. Okay, I'm taking it down. I'm going to see what this looks like. I see pink. I'm really scared. <laughs> I don't know what I did to my hair. All I can see in my mirror is like, it literally looks, and it's so hard to tell because my lighting is not that good right now. But I can see like, I don't know, like, I don't know. It might not be bad. Maybe it's just like because it looks so pink right there, it might not be so bad. Okay. Just what I can see. Okay. 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 It might not be too bad. I don't see any blonde showing or nothing. I just see scalp. So. Alright, I will style this and see what it looks like in color when I get done with it, and then, I don't know, we'll see what you guys think, I don't know what I've done, but, it's an, it doesn't, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would, but it was just, I could see like the pink right here, and I was like freaking out, and I was so scared to take it off my head, so I had to turn it on real quick to do this, but it doesn't look too bad, I mean, it, it this, 
part of it looks pretty much like it does when I do my other colors. It just this looked like super pink. And honestly, knowing me, I would have been just fine with it. But anyways, okay, so I'm going to blow dry this out and we're going to see what it looks like when I get it done. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. It was definitely a journey. I am ready to... I got this from my birch box. I'm about to put it on and it's actually going to be at the end of my editorial. Uh, I'm about to take this junk off, pop these bad boys off, and throw this mask on for a while. So yes, it will be on here. Do I normally do it? Not really. But obviously you guys got to see me before without my makeup, so what the hell, I should go ahead and do it too. So, okay, I hope you guys enjoy this one. I know it's a little different, but us girls, we just do whatever when we're bored or whatever, and there's all kinds of stuff going on right now, right? So I thought, hey, I'll join in. So, all right, so here's the new color. It is like a pink color. It is pretty. I could, I can imagine, I, it's like I have this view because of the way I wear my hair, because generally I do keep my hair up. Um, I have this like a view in, 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 in mind here of this pink because it's not, it's really not that pink, but from back here and knowing the color that's in my, my eye, it's like a darker pink. Um, and it's really, really pretty. So it just, it's one of them mind over matter things. So I'm looking at it. So this is more of, of that, um, you know, um, older, the older look of it, obviously. And then in the back of my mind, I'm looking at more of the, the darker and nice, but the younger look of it. So my eye kind of sees it in both ways. Um, so anyways, yeah, so we are going to... Makeup off, mask on, my second thing I got from my birch box, so I'm going to try it on, and I'm going to get all every, all the footage, and I have two pictures and all that stuff, I'm going to get it all together, and you guys will see it here in a few minutes, and thank you for going along with me, I'm ready to get this on, and ready to wrap it up and go to bed. Maybe, maybe, it might let me go to bed. Will I go to bed tonight? I don't know. Maybe it just wants me to like stick this thing on. Maybe I should do that, right? Okay. Maybe it's telling me something. Does anybody know how to do these? Because I've never had one before. Like, do I put it on with my eyelashes still on? Because I really don't know. I've never used it. I normally like, do I have to wash my face first? Does anybody know? Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm assuming I wash my face first and then put this thing on. It's like, it's like a paper towel. I've never used this before. So maybe, because I don't know how it works, but I normally like scrub my face with scrub first, so I don't know what to do with this. I've never done it before, and yes, it looks brown. It's like a scrub. It's really strange, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna take all this makeup junk off. Try to get all this off of me. And then I'm going to put this thing on. Alright. Alright, I'm going to try to figure this out. I've never done this before. I've never done this before. So makeup's off. Makeup's off. You guys see me without my makeup? I don't know if I looked better with my makeup off or worse. I won't know. But anyways, okay. So I'm going to figure out how do we put this thing on. It smells like watermelon. It, it says it's watermelon. Okay, watermelon. What is it called? Perless. 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 I look like something like, what is that movie where the skin is falling off? Silence of the Lamb. Hello, <laughs> That's what it looks like. Is this one right? Okay, so I'm gonna stick this on my face real quick. And do I dare to pop off my eyelashes in front of everybody? Like, should I? Or should I just like leave this <laughs> It's not like they never see me without it, right? So, I don't, I don't know how long I'm supposed to leave this on. It feels like a paper towel. A moist paper towel. 
but I've never used it before, so it's kind of cool. I guess you're supposed to, like, silence of the lamb it up or something. My skin is coming off! Ah! To do with it. Okay, so we like this look. Phantom of the Opera. Love. Right? Phantom of the Opera? Yeah, behind the mask. Alright. Or do we like, like, weapons off, like, Miss, like, Grandma here? Like, seriously? Oh my god. Like, what do we want to do? Oh my god. Really? My face is falling off. Oh my god. I don't know what to do here. So serious. Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. How are we supposed to live this one? Phantom of the Opera. kill me. I'm about retarded, but anyways. Okay, so, I don't know how long I was supposed to, uh, one to two times long. I don't know how long, but, oh yeah, we're not leaving it on like 15, 20 minutes now. Okay, I don't have enough time to wait for 15, 20 minutes. Alright, so, I'm about to take this off. We are taking the Phantom of the Opera and, what was it called again? <laughs> And whatever the silence of the land, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take it off. Okay, or what is it? Chucky's not Chucky's bride, but whatever his name. Yeah, whatever the bride of the groom, broom, whatever. Okay, ready? I'm gonna take this off. I'm sure it's not gonna be like anything special. They're like, oh, it's so shiny. Oh my gosh. I do get makeup that didn't come off though. I think that's either make oh well, there's lipstick still on it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So that is good, but it's moist. It's very moist. Yeah, it's moisture. Okay, I see now. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay. The Phantom of the Opry Girl. Opry. Osprey. Opry. And the Silence of the Lamb decided <laughs> to pull her mask off. And it actually don't look like bad. It's a lot of moisturizer and stuff. I do have a little bit of my scrub still on my face, so I, I can feel a little bit of that on there. Um, but I can definitely feel this, so it's not too bad. So, anyways, okay. So I, I did my new my new thing, which I'm really excited because I actually been getting this for a while, and every freaking month I wait for it to come. And they finally come for this month, and um, so I was really excited to see what I was going to get in my box this week. Uh, or this month, I wish I was getting it weekly, and, um, so I had gotten this, and then I had gotten the new hair stuff, and I also have gotten, um, it's a, some kind of like, uh, it's like a highlighter thing, um, I didn't have it on today, but just a, uh, what do you call it, concealer type thing, I don't know, I'm a girl and I can't remember this stuff, but anyways, what it is, is I do like it, a lot of my, like my mascaras and stuff that I, that I have, I use, um, use it from there too, my drink. And, um, <clears throat> anyways, um, anyways, they send me a lot of really good stuff, and a lot of stuff that they do send me is definitely stuff that I, that it's drying, oh, it does feel good. Um, anyways, a, a lot of stuff that they do send me, um, it's like right up my alley. They always send me really good stuff and right on stuff. Um, so yeah, I look forward to it uh, every single month. So this is what they had sent me this month in my box, along with um, the other stuff that I used for my hair today, which I told you, it, it definitely lifted and thickened my hair up, so it really did what, what it says it was supposed to do. Um, my hair is not as flat or thin, so I definitely like it. And um, and then of course I got this, and I got like a, a lip, um, lip balm or something, and one other thing, but honestly I don't remember what it was that I had gotten. But, anyways, alright guys, I'm gonna go to bed, and thank you for doing this with me, and thank you for staying around for me doing my little mask and my Venom of the Opera. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys, um, later.